name is Andrew W.K. Welcome to Noisy and Friends. Let's try to have some fun. friends. Face tattoos, that's a big commitment. <sighs> Justin Bieber's just had a face tattoo. I mean, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yes, I wasn't born with pink hair. I know this comes as some shock, but I am a redhead and I'm 100% Viking. I, I don't even understand what gluten is. <laughs> I don't know. I continue to eat it though, freely. Every girl should have a beautiful handkerchief in her wardrobe. It was actually photographer Autumn de Wilde that, that taught me that because we went to a movie and I was crying and she handed me over this incredible Rodarte handkerchief and it was just the most elegant move. Well, it's arguable whether I am sane. I think sometimes a little insanity is good for, for the human mind. Do I have any special skills? Absolutely none. <laughs> Not good at anything. <laughs> it's why I'm so bitter and twisted and write angry, dark songs in my band. Here's a special fact. Did you know the human body is made entirely out of bone, tissue, and water? Oh. Well, it is. For an artist, being in LA, I think, is a chance to enrich your creativity and enhance your well-being or completely destroy it. You know, I've got lots of songs and I've got lots of material. I don't find it hard to be inspired, but I almost want to test myself to see what I can come up with by putting myself outside of my comfort zone, exploring the different ways in which you can be inspired in LA. So I've just moved from Melbourne, Australia. I'm excited to be back here in like a new chapter of my life. I am gearing up to record an album and it's going to be the first time I do that. Yay! This is my key to my home in Los Angeles. 
and the other one was my key to my house in Melbourne, but I lost it in the couch. The couch ate it today. So luckily I just moved here. I won't need to go back. We want everything and now place your devices on the ground. There's no need to make us I actually made up a dance for this in hopes that we can do it in the video. Okay. I'll show you. Hey, we've done a really great job. <laughs> Do you often come to LA? Before I moved to New York, I was visiting here and my friend was like, come move to New York, you'll become an alcoholic and then you'll become a yoga vegan freak and have to move to LA. And I was like, oh, so that's basically the trajectory. But I'm still in the New York, it's good, Alcohol it's fun. I'm <laughs> 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 Being in LA, because it's very much a spiritually inclined place, I may as well just dive head first and get some sort of healing, you know, to welcome me into my new chapter of life. Los Angeles Shaman. She looks like she could have the answers for me. There seems to be no form of contact. Shaman Durek works one-on-one -on -one with clients creating personal healing programs. Not in service. Maybe he went out of business. So we've got Jude Wenegbu here. Jude's spiritual learning was further enhanced when he travelled to Los Angeles with Sir George King, founder of the Aetherius Society. There he mastered the King technique, utilising the major chakras to fill the body with spiritual energy so that the body may heal itself. We need a new story. We need a new narrative of, of who the heck we are and what all of this is about. And it's emerging. And the Aetherius Society is in a way front and center on that. friends. Hi, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. I'm here to okay. see Paul, is that you? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is this the temple? This is the temple, yeah. This is, we've been here since 1965. Wow. My interest in the Aetherius Society is the relationship between certain religions. That's and right. I mean, we've got the Buddha there and the picture of Jesus. Right. So yeah. you, and, and the Mother Earth and the Sun and the galaxy. We in the Aetherius Society believe that the founders, certainly of Buddhism and, and of Christianity and, if you like, Hinduism, they were all founded by beings who came from other worlds. We're talking about a higher dimension of these planets, just as there are other uh, dimensions or other realms around this Earth. The Aetherius Society was founded in England in 1955 by a man called Dr. George King, who had spent much of the previous 10 years practicing various forms of yoga for up to eight hours a day. So it was very intense, he was very disciplined. He was used as a medium through whom beings from other worlds spoke. And that is how the Aetherius Society originated and grew up. Mid-1950s onwards, there were a lot of UFO groups because there were a lot of people having sightings of UFOs. Word got out about this Englishman who was bringing through messages from beings from other worlds. We in the Aetherius Society now invite all spiritually minded people to come forward and cooperate with us. So tell me how you ended up in Hollywood. The Aetherius Society? Yeah. Uh, it's a good question. 
there's something in a way very significant um, about this particular area. Yeah. Because a lot of philosophical beliefs and even church, churches and, and things like that started around that same time in this area. Yes, it did. When we look back, we'll see that certainly America, more than any other country, leads the way in the New Age spirituality. And if you want to be specific, California. We here on Earth have got virtually no clue as to what we're a part of. Life really begins with cosmic consciousness, and that is awareness that one is a part of everything. There is nothing that is separate. There is nothing that ever has been or ever will be separate. Um, Why do you feel so emotional to well, about it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've forgotten this. Um, we're not aware of this, of what our real purpose is, what our what our true heritage is, if you like, what our what our destiny is. Mm. So uh, it's a crying shame. It it's really a is. It's a crying shame. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. The most important thing is follow your own intuitive sense. You've got to follow your what what feels right for you. The spiritual healing we do is very much like Reiki, um, where we kind of uh, visualize energy coming through us and we put this energy in the main psychic centers or chakras of the human body and it gives on a full physical, spiritual, mental healing. We need to be profoundly and spiritually humbled. Then we will recognize Yes, that life exists everywhere on all kinds of dimensions. There's so much to draw from this experience as an artist. I'd like to think that we can all stand together to unashamedly admit that we don't know what's out there. But we're bloody ready and willing to know more. With open arms and open minds. Take me higher than my capacity If I've learned one thing from Dr. King It's that good can come from faith and dreams And the ones are part of everything, of everything But there's a sense of doom and it's a crying shame All the weight of the world go and crush our frame Can good come? Tell me please I don't know what to believe, what to believe Planets in the stars are this but until we meet again I hope you have some fun fear well now